Oh, welcome back. Uh, purple Essis, the sour ale with purple Skittles. That's uh, the standard ba red bag of Skittles, just they're purple. I believe Prairie's done this once before. Uh, they only made 50 crowlers and then whatever was in the tap room. So anybody watching this, oh, sorry. <laughs> More than likely, you're not going to have a chance to try this unless they make it again or distribute it or whatever else. But I'm going to enjoy it. I've had uh, the Tropical Essis. Uh, I think it was a green one. I've had Wild Essis, or well, I don't know what it was, but it was like a purple grayish color. It was ugly as hell. And then, um, there, the hell was it? Some certain Skittles with their um, Vape Tricks. It's purple. I mean, there you go. Uh, the smell is in the name. Cheers. Hmm. It's kind of weird. At the beginning, it kind of had like a hairspray kind of a, a taste to it. Kind of odd. I'm not too keen on it at all. This is the worst of the the S's line that I've had. Yeah, it's kind of, there's no carbonation whatsoever. The The crowler was pretty, pretty squishy. Um, it is 5.6%. It's a little thick and syrupy. I mean, it's got a lot of sugar in it. It's got Skittles. I'm not getting the hairspray notes now, but it's just like sweet sugar candy water with a little grape and hairspray. Let me see what the wife thinks. All right, so she said grape soda. Um, I wish it was more sour. I wish it, I mean, the, the grape notes there. I wish it had more carbonation to it. I don't know if it was just the crowler. Uh, Will did get a crowler, not crowler. Will did get a glass of this and I don't remember exactly what, what it looked like. Um, I didn't get any pour of it. I just got the crowler and buckshot fender, which I'll be doing after this one probably. And we had a pour of, it was the new bourbon barrel stout. Shit, I forget. It had, it's like a chocolate fudge sundae. It had cherry and peanut butter in it. It was, that was pretty damn good though. I mean, it's okay. One thing I would really like to see Prairie do is get uh, the Starburst, the All Red Starburst. It's got like strawberry, watermelon, cherry. I think that would be freaking amazing. I would love that one. Uh, do a sour with that. And I should make it a little sour, you know, more sour than this. Something sour along the, the lines of like rainbow sherbet or something. I think that'd be really good. I don't know if I would have chose grape. Maybe that's why they chose it because it's something that, you know, Stephen wouldn't have chose. Um, out of the, the red bag, I'd see the lime, the lemon, and then and then the, the cherry. I guess the straw. Wherever the hell is the red one? Yellow, green, and red. That'd be the. I mean, I think there's only four different colors anyway. So maybe that's why they chose grape, purple, whatever. Um, I didn't ask her a number, and she's on the phone with her mom. So, <sighs> man, I don't know. It's not really something I would like to choose a lot. Um, seven and a half. I mean, it's nothing outstanding. I don't know what you're you're thinking. You're going to get into uh, when you buy this, but I'd like to see more sour. I'd like to see some carbonation to it. Uh, the grape notes are there, and it has that weird taste break at the first, you know, few drinks. It's not really there now. Really sweet, really syrupy. No carb at all. None. Yep, seven and a half. There you go. Let me see.